hi you guys welcome back to my channel uh, my name is alexandrea and and for those that are new here welcome uh, for those that are coming back hey there honey you doing um so this video i'm going to be setting up my second green stock um my honey got me a second one for mother's day and i'm super excited because i actually really enjoy growing in them um and this uh, you can see the corner of my first one so we'll actually be setting that uh resetting that one completely in a separate video so be sure to subscribe for uh future videos and um, we actually had a bird stock in there and no you're not coming out it's too wet so we actually had um a bird stock a uh, bird stock poo <laughs> a bird's nest in there um so we can't use that soil anymore i'm um, just off of precautionary reasons birds are gross um so yeah it's just not healthy for us to reuse the soil so we'll be emptying that one out and refreshing that one completely so if you want to see that video be sure to subscribe because that is the next task um we have quite a lot that has grown in there and it's time to just go ahead and get it ready for the summer so um this green stock we will be using the potting soil from lowe's i have not used that in a green stock previously and um we'll be finding out together if that is good soil or not for the green stock um my first year growing in them was last year and i actually used compost um and raised bed soil i believe i um, mean it compacted pretty bad in there so things did not succeed however fall i actually just switched the soil out um right before fall started and um, my fall crops did really well um but yeah now we just kind of have to empty out and start over so let's go ahead and get started into this video um this one is terracotta um which matches um a few things that i have out here a little better than this stone color um so i'm not entirely sure where i'm going to set this one up um but again be sure to subscribe because I have some garden tours coming up and you will see kind of where this one settles, but we are going to go ahead and get it planted up. We have just had the craziest weather ever these past two weeks and this is actually my first time being able to get out into the garden um, due to rain and it actually dropped back into the 60s after being in the 90s for like two weeks. So, ew. Um, and this is one of the non-rainy days um, that we have. So. I'm out here and it's overcast and my dog's barking. And he can't come out because it's too much water. So he's mad, but it's okay. So let's get started, let's go. Okay. All right, so it comes really secure. So this is the water reservoir that is at the top um, and it also has little chip marks in it um, based off of how tall your stock is. That is how far up you fill. And this actually looks a little different than my last one. Yeah, I feel like this one looks different. Um, I could be wrong, but this is um, this is the water reservoir and you just pour water in the top. This is how you water the whole system. It has like little holes at the bottom to water that first row. And then the center hole feeds down the center of the entire green stock. Ooh, and this is the upgrade. My honey told me he got me an upgrade. This is the new base where it spins. Um, and it does have wheels. Oh, and I got the wheel kit. Oh yeah. Oh, so I got the wheel kit too. This is my first time opening the box. He got this for me for Mother's Day and I just honestly hadn't gotten to it. Um, so I got the wheels that I can move it around and then this will make it so much easier to water because I literally just have to spin it. I have the original base on my first one, um, which just, you have to like unlock the wheels, but this is new to me. So we will be trying that out together. Um, it also comes with um, just instructions and stickers. Oh, I got stickers. Did my honey order stickers? No, I got stickers. A little cute watermelon. Oh, I have so many cute stickers. Oh, and I have sweet basil seeds. Okay, anyway, so I 
actually read this last time. Um, this really gave me kind of the ins and outs of what I should and shouldn't grow in it. Um, well, not necessarily shouldn't, I don't think, but it just kind of gives you a guide on what to grow. I will be reading this one again just in case they did any upgrades, but I also grow things that they don't say you can grow in them. So you choose how you choose. Um, and then these are the little um, water reservoirs that go in between the tiers. And of course, I'll be showing you how to hook all this up. This is the water doohickey bop. Uh, this is the water doohickey bop. And my order was packed by care with Nicole. Thank you, Nicole. So this is actually not as terracotta as I thought it was, which is even better because it matches what I have out here. So here she is. There she blows. Um, so I got the five tier, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five. So that's what I have over here. And this is the same thing. As okay, so Yogi got kicked out of this establishment. So we're moving on with our uh, our lives here. It is my morning coffee. It's cold, but um, we're rocking with it. All right. So we're just going to set this up right here for now until I figure out where I'm going to plant it, like where I'm going to put it. And I'm not going to put the wheels on yet because I actually need to pick up um, another um, set of pavers for it to go on. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. So we're just going to use this. Okay, so this is what the reservoir for each, I guess I shouldn't call everything a reservoir, but this is what one of the planners look like. They all look like this. Um, no matter if you get three or five tier, they do have a leaf planner that is smaller than this, um, but I have the original for both of mine. Both of mine are original, so these are the deepest um, that they currently carry. Um, and this is the bottom. So this little center here, it will all align. I um, mean, this is pretty much how you're able to water the full tier um, because the water will come out this little, you know, come out this little downspout here and then it'll kind of get everything watered. So there's not water sitting in these individual um, things. I have never had anything kind of rot due to it being uh, sitting in water and I've never had anything dry out either. So, um, I'm comfortable in using these and I, I personally love them so I'm excited so oh that's so jazzy so that nah, that's not nah, that real nice That's real nice. Okay, so I have 23 minutes on my camera, so I need to kind of just go, 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 because I'm gonna get this video done for you guys. So then you put this down, you put one of these water reservoirs, and then you put another pot, and they're not gonna set in um, firm until they're uh, filled with soil. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill it up, um, and then Hopefully we have time to get some plants in there. If we don't, that will be another video and we'll do that then. But let's go ahead and get this thing filled. This is the potting soil that, it's not like Walmart's brand, but I got it from Walmart. Um, so this is what we'll be using for this little project. I can get it open. save my back some agony I'm not gonna try to dump it because I don't want to waste soil so I'm going to use my handy dandy <laughs> random nursery pot for the first few scoops
So now everything is done. It's filled. Um, and they do recommend you fill them up to the top. Um, so be sure that you do that when you're planting yours. Um, so let's go ahead and get these stacked. And you're putting one of these in between each layer and then you just have to make sure you align them and they will sit in very easily sorry guys if i sound weird this pollen um just so happens to be kicking my butt this year last year um, i actually didn't have any problems i did the um added local honey for a few weeks and then I didn't have any problems with allergies but I guess this year uh, it's gonna make me suffer a little bit all right so it is all together all right it is all together so I'm 5'8 just so you can get like a idea how tall this is um, and I'm actually gonna have to I'm gonna water it in and then put a little bit more soil in just to make sure that you literally there's a line inside like it wants you to fill it up to the brim so i actually need to put a little bit more soil in but i love this new base because this is so easy to turn but yeah let's check that out all right so you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me today um i don't have enough time to plant this up in this video because i need to clear off some things off of my phone before i can record um all of the things that i'm going to put in here um and i would kind of like to go in depth of what i'm putting in here because i am putting a lot of different things in here um and then i'll also go through in the next video the pamphlet um that came with this green stock um and quantity recommendations that they provided um just so you guys can have an idea of what they're recommending that you grow in here and what's possible i already know i may be doing some things that were not in the last pamphlet so i'm interested to see if it has updated in the last year or so since i got the last one um but again i am super excited this is my second green stock um and my third season growing in them so i'm so excited um thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and taking the time I have no, I'm not a real adult. Um, taking the time to hang out with me um, and checking out my video. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave those down below um, and subscribe. We have lots of videos coming, although we have gotten a very late start on our grow season um, due to this finicky weather. Um, I am certain that there is still a lot to grow because there's not really anything producing right now um so i'm excited for what's to come um and i hope you guys are along for the journey you can follow me over on instagram as well at mama breaking the mold um and i'm on facebook so you can hit me up there uh, too um if you just want to shoot me a direct message or anything or a private question i don't know but you can follow me over there i post everywhere um but yeah thanks so much for checking me out today bye